I cannot tell you how excited I am for you guys. Seriously, we've been looking forward to this for quite some time and it's been long awaited and I just, I hope that you guys can feel the love that these people here have for you tonight. Just a small glimpse of the way that so many of your people and you know, just look up to you guys and admire you. So I hope that tonight is just a good kickstart to this, this weekend. As we've approached this date, I've been thinking back, Stephanie and I in particular, the first time we met Molly, at the Sigma Chi Parents Weekend. Senior year at UGA, go dogs tomorrow night. All right? It was love at first sight, but it was for Stephanie and me. Okay? And we sat at the table, and I mean, we were blown away sitting there with Molly. I mean, she was amazing. When I was thinking about what I wanted to say in this speech, I was thinking about all the things that I think we all know about Molly already. She is, as Demi put, a fiercely loyal friend. Um, you're loved by so many people, everybody in this room. Um, you're usually the life of the party. Molly, not only do you light up every room you walk into, but you're also that person that makes every single person feel special, no matter what, and that's not an easy thing to do. Molly, you've been my day one ever since we met at UGA, and you've been such a constant and loyal friend over the past 10 years. A lot has changed since we first met at UGA with moves cross country, evolving hairstyles, and even bigger life events that we didn't see coming. But somehow you've always been able to come out stronger in the face of adversity, which is a true testament to the kind of person you are and what you'll bring throughout your marriage. most dependable human being that I've ever met in my life. Honestly, Drew, I, we say it a lot jokingly, but he really is kind of like the dad of our friend group. I really don't know how much would ever get planned if it wasn't up to him. When you picture Drew, you picture his deep love and loyalty to the ones that he loves, his sisters, his family, and most importantly to our best friend Molly. Look at you. I love your dress. <laughs> this is what you guys have all been talking about for like six months. <laughs> you and Drew are both always thinking of others and are not intimidated by getting everybody from across the country together to celebrate and make someone else feel special. And selfishly, I'm getting a lifelong friend, lifelong golf, fishing, skiing, beer drinking partner. However, none of that matters if you didn't make Molly happy. So, in vain, saying that you make Molly happy is a massive understatement. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wow. That's so beautiful. I don't want to mention my football. Perfect marriage really is about two people who never give up on each other. So dedicate yourself to be a forgiver. The happy marriage is the union of two good listeners. Love rejoices with truth. And what, I, what it is, is I believe, much more complicated and entangled. So when you think about truth, I think what it's saying is, Drew, rejoice in Molly's truth, and Molly, rejoice in Drew's truth. I 
I, Drew, take you, Molly, to be my lawfully wedded wife. I give to you, in the presence of these witnesses, my promise to stay by your side. In sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, in good times and in bad, I promise to love you without reservation. you in times of distress and encourage you to achieve all your goals, to laugh and cry with you, to grow with you in mind and spirit. Always be open and honest with you and cherish you for as long as we both shall live. The love you two have for each other is just so palpable and obvious to all that know you. We're blessed to have you in our lives. Having pledged their fidelity to one another, to love, honor, cherish one another in the presence of this gathering, and by the authority vested in me in the laws of the great state of Georgia, it is my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to be the first to, endure, to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Andrew Sebastian Foreman.